thick and thin at the same time. I don't, I don't know if that makes sense to you. Zero is like mattifying and ten would be like the super glow. Not liquidy, not lotiony, not creamy, no fluidy. It just feels like very silicone. -y. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to review another European chemical sunscreen product for you guys that just recently came out. They came out with two different products. I'm gonna review the other product in the next video. But today I'm going to focus on the Transparent Lab. There it is, the brand. Invisible sunscreen SPF 50 plus, SPF 50 plus. It is a chemical sunscreen and let's talk about the protection because the protection here is really marvelous. It is great. It says it is an SPF 50 plus, PA plus, 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 and it offers high protection against UVA, UVB, IR plus HEVL, which is blue light. Let's talk about it a little more further. HEVL stands for high energy visible blue light, also known as blue light, and it is everywhere around us, including the sun, digital screens, for example, your phone, your television, your laptop, and IR means infrared radiation and is usually perceived as heat, including sun, fire, heating devices, saunas, while cooking, for example, if you're standing right next to the stove, and this penetrates deep really deep in the skin. This can cause a decrease in collagen and elastin in the skin, and we want to prevent this. And this has also a PBD of 25, and I'm so thankful that this just discloses this right away on the bottle, uh, on the packaging, because I really feel like sometimes it's really hard to find out what PBD level some sunscreens have. And I feel like it is such a blessing if a brand is just open about it and just tells it right away. When you're purchasing this product, you do know what you get. So PPD, for you guys who don't know what that is, PPD is a measure of the level of protection you have against UVA rays. UVA rays are the ones that are really causing hyperpigmentation, dark spots, wrinkles over the time, and we do not want that. And it stands for persistent pigment darkening. Let's talk about the filters. This sunscreen only uses modern filters. We have octanoxate. This is a UV filter, primarily absorbs UVB radiation. We have have other filters which are a broad spectrum UV filter that provides protection against both UVA and UVB radiation. Let's talk about the volume here. We get 100 milliliter. I bought this for 19.95 euro, so almost 20 euro, and I really believe this is a very fair price for 100 milliliter. That is definitely not average in Europe. It says it is water and sweat resistant. It has an anti-pollution filter. It is alcohol free. Okay, that's that's cool. It is fragrance free, wonderful. And it is suitable for every skin type from dry, oily, sensitive skin. It has an invisible, transparent, ultralight dry touch texture. It has antioxidants in it. And it should also strengthen our skin barrier. I was like, okay. Okay, what is also good to know? This has ascorbyl tetra whatsoever. I cannot pronounce this, it's too hard. This is a derivative of vitamin C known for its antioxidant properties. Most of the time helps to brighten the skin, reduce the appearance of hyperpigmentation, reduces redness on the skin and helps with pimple marks. We also have ceramides in this product. Oof, ceramides, love that. Ceramides are fantastic. They have such a soothing effect on the skin barrier. They also help with the aging process and really have like an hydrating effect for the skin. Then we also have a form of vitamin E in this product, which is another powerful antioxidant. Vitamin E helps the skin to protect itself from damage caused by free radicals and UV exposure. It is also very moisturizing. Before I'm gonna apply this product, I wanna talk about my base today. I only have a hydrating toner with soothing ingredients like panthenol and nice ceramide, a glycerin serum to really soothe the skin a little further. And I do already have a ceramide serum on top. This bottle, I love the packaging from them. They really hit it with this packaging. I, I think it's super clean. My boyfriend also loves it. This is just nice to look at. Okay, let's apply this one. I'm gonna put it right on my hand. This has a really unique color. It is super runny. It doesn't have any white pigment. Okay, of course it doesn't have any white pigment, but you know what I mean? Like when I put a sunscreen usually on top of my skin, it has first like a little white kind of texture and color. Okay, I'm gonna apply this right on top of my skin. This feels like silicone-y. It's gone. My base isn't that suitable for this product because I can see that it pills a teeny tiny bit. 
sticky right on top of my ear. Like it does have a little pilling. The texture is very unique. I've never experienced something like this before. No burning sensation. Really just, you know what? This feels like I put on, I put some primer on top of my face. Like primer, primer, makeup primer. It is very, for you guys who never wear primer and never wear makeup, it feels very silicone-y, not liquidy, not lotion-y, not creamy, no fluidy. It just feels like very silicone-y. It's a crazy. Okay. Let's put this on my neck. Let's see how my ultimate test, let's see how my ears are reacting. If they're even reacting. Okay, finish. Now I'm gonna put on some makeup. I'm gonna make it quick and short. Just give me some seconds. I don't like how this looks, gotta be honest. I have to go outside today. I can't go back. I gotta go with this gracefully. But so far, ah. So I'm gonna make myself ready now for going outside because I cannot go like this outside. This is my pajama. So see you in a few seconds. So I'm back, I'm done. I'm gonna go outside now. Have a good time in Berlin after a couple of hours. I'm gonna give you a review on this product. I'm not as happy about the makeup. We're gonna see how it works and we see each other in a couple of hours. Hello, I'm back. I'm sweating, I'm steaming, it's so hot. I just did laundry and I thought before I do my nighttime skincare routine, I'm going to review this product for you. And I do have a lot of thoughts I wanna share with you. First category, packaging. There's nothing to say about this than it is quite nice. I can show you the applicator of this one. Can you see this? Here comes the product out of the bottle and I feel like it's super precise, nice to use and there's nothing negative about this packaging. So I would give it a 10 out of 10. Okay, what can I say about the texture? Can you see this? It is really liquidy. It is already, it has like a yellowy tint to it but you won't see that on your face. Can you see how invisible this is? I mean, it's literally called the invisible sunscreen. This feels like the ultimate silicone-y primer feeling. It's not lightweight. For me personally, it doesn't feel lightweightish, but they also have another product which is called the lightweight sunscreen. It really feels thick and thin at the same time. I don't, I don't know if that makes sense to you. But I really feel like I can feel it. It's not water. It's truly like I have this silicone-y finish to it. I would give this an eight. Good, but not my favorite. What about the smell of this one? No smell. It's fragrance free. It doesn't contain any alcohol. No smell. And that is, that's crazy. Nothing, that's cool. 10 out of 10. What about white cast? No white cast whatsoever. It does not even have any kind of, any kind of whitish appearance. So 10 out of 10, no white cast. Very good. What about the finish? I would say this is, so this is more like a normal finish. It's not dewy dewy, not glowy. It just looks really healthy, but it's not something that looks like really dewy on the skin. It's also not mattifying. I would say it is really just on the healthy, normal side. So if I would say like zero is like mattifying and 10 would be like the super glow, like you're the star, then this would be like kind of in between, like a five. But for me, the finish is really, also a 10 out of 10. I really feel like this has a beautiful, just nice, healthy shine to it. Nothing too crazy, especially like in the summertime when you're already sweating, you like that very settled kind of glow because it will anyway glow from all the sweat. Makeup base test. Ooh, I have some thoughts to share here. I am a little bit disappointed about this product and the makeup application on top of it because I felt like I have tried a lot of sunscreens and they were performing much better underneath makeup. I had the hope that this would work like a primer tube since it has the silicone -y feeling, but it didn't. It definitely pilled. I don't believe that this is the base underneath I've used because I didn't use anything that could possibly pill in my personal opinion because I've used a bunch of sunscreen and they didn't pill at all on this. I do think 
this is not suitable for makeup. But if you don't wear makeup, this is great. I will use this one when I go outside, when I'm sitting in my office, right in front of my window. Makeup base, sorry, it's like a one out of 10. Sorry. Okay, is this easy to reapply? It was really easy to reapply on my neck since I don't have any makeup on top of my neck. If you do wear makeup, it's a zero. If you don't wear makeup, this is a 10. Really feels great on top of each other. Waterproof test, let's test. Sweatproof test, 10 out of 10. I really feel like this did an absolute fantastic job in preventing that I look like a absolute grease ball because I sweated like crazy. I did the laundry, I did all the household, I was outside. I really feel like I don't look like a grease ball. Look at this. Still looks good. It definitely performed, like, especially on the forehead. I really feel like this made a fantastic job. I didn't powder it down. That's the, that's the thing. I didn't powder it down. Usually I have to do it because in summer I'm really sweaty in the face. So I would say this performs absolutely fantastic when it comes to sweat. Maybe if you're in the gym and you are in your cardio session, I, I could, I could say this would be very good for you. So 10 out of 10. Sweatproof wise, for sure. Neck peeling, no. Neck peeling with clothing. It, it feels weird a bit, to be honest. Um, on the clothing it does, I just feel the sunscreen, so it's not very nice, but it does not peel. So since it's not peeling, it's a 10 out of 10, but is it nice and comfortable there where I'm, where I'm wearing some clothing? Not really. Let's talk about eye stinging. Personally, it does sting a teeny, a teeny, teeny tiny bit, but not really noticeable not a lot and it is still such a great product i would say if you have really sensitive eyes this is still a good product for you i would give it a try and i believe that if i wouldn't have sweat that much it wouldn't have sting at all and even from zero to ten if i would say okay 10 is really bad stinging and zero is no stinging. This was like a, I would say it was just a two. Is this beard approved? Let's ask my boyfriend. Okay, is this really suitable for sensitive skin? Yes, it is. I believe this is suitable for almost every skin type out there since it is alcohol free, since it has soothing ingredients like ceramides and it is really hydrating and really comfortable to wear. Um, no matter what skin concern you have, I think this is a really good product for you. This has absolute fantastic ingredients to soothe your skin, vitamin E, ceramides 10 out of 10 if you are sensitive or you have acne very good oh sorry that was my phone is this scar approved i do have a scar from surgery i'm just gonna put it again on top i already did this throughout the day and i would say it was perfect didn't irritate it at all it didn't got any red spots no problems no complaints 10 out of 10 scar proof overall rating i would say if you are someone that loves to wear makeup this is a nah for you no then don't use the stuff. I would rather use this when I'm at home in front of my laptop since it's uh, protecting from blue lights. I do feel like this is a great option if you go outside in summer and you don't wear any type of makeup, you just put on some, you know, mascara. But makeup wearers, nah, don't do it. It does not sit nicely on top of this product. If you're not a makeup wearer, this is definitely crazily good. Don't get confused. It's a whole different day, you know, looking different. Since it stained a little bit in my eyes, I felt like, okay, I want to give it a couple more tries. And I have to say that the eye stinging, noticeable. It's not as bad as I experienced it in the past with other products, but it's definitely not good. So it's not only a teeny tiny bit. If I have to rate it from zero, no eye stinging, 10 is incredibly, incredibly harsh. It's definitely a six. It was hard for me to open my eyes after a couple of hours because I had to take a tissue, you know, dabbing the product off of my eyes. Other products of them are really fantastic, but I can say that for my face itself, it was definitely soothing for the eyes, for sensitive eyes, this is enough. Because it has so many soothing ingredients and it really calmed down my skin, honestly, I would say it is still a good sunscreen. So if you do not have sensitive eyes, give it a go. I think it could be really worth it because you get such a great amount of product and you get great filters and it has such a unique texture to it. If you like that primary silicone feeling, this is really lovely. There are some cons right here that I have to take in consideration. For example, it does sting my eyes for sure. It also doesn't perform really well underneath makeup. It's not very lightweight throughout the day. That is something I noticed too. When I applied it, it felt really lightweight. It feel, really felt just velvet really nice but I definitely noticed it throughout the day. This is not a good sunscreen for me personally so I would rate this like a 4 out of 10 and I'm so sorry about it because I love this brand so much but let's see how the lightweight sunscreen is performing in the next video.